Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, June. <laughs> We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, of course, and vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. Guys, it is timestamp. Uh, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the description bar below, you see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the read. As I always say, you know, just please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, you can always, you know, just stick around as sometimes there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to be. Because ultimately we we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take these in. Might have extra cards just due to me clarifying the uh, cards. Uh, but I'm going to take these in and I'll be... So Sagittarius, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And just to quickly know that, you know, take whatever resonates and leave whatever does and uh, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our reality. All right, so, okay. So it seems like this person, whoever this is showing up, in your reading, Sagittarius, um, has been engaging in some form of extra curriculum activities, let's call them. Let's call that. And it, you, it doesn't mean that you weren't aware of it. Definitely most most definitely was aware, if I could speak, you definitely was aware of it. It's something that you definitely was aware of with the three of um, cups here. But I feel like you kind of looked past it. You kind of chose to ignore it. You, you was aware that it was there. But it's like, because I have already kind of built a foundation with this person because I've already got something with them, established some things. It could be long term as well. I've invested something in this person. I'm just going to kind of choose to bypass it, look past certain little things that I might be feeling that they're engaging in with that, that two of swords there. It's that not acknowledging or choosing to not see something simply because there's this focus on that ten of pentacles, ten of pentacles, that ten of cups, which talks about emotional fulfillment. That could be you just kind of remembering how it was at the beginning of the relationship or near the beginning of the relationship, or just kind of acknowledging that regardless of what this person is engaging in, you're still kind of, they still play their part, so to speak, that all. Um, but it kind of got to a point for you where you couldn't help but acknowledge it. Uh, as much as you kind of still took a risk on this, still engaging with this person, it got to a point where you, you just kind of couldn't, ignore it with the with the wild card there you know it's like uh -uh, i want justice in this I, I can't i can't ignore this any longer maybe this person got a bit reckless a bit careless just in terms of how they was moving um so you couldn't help but see it for what it is uh, and you're right this person was engaging in extracurricular activities it's like they wanted to have their cake and eat it too as much as they was engaging in other things they still wanted to hold on to this still really holding on to this for some of you i want to say even fight for this maybe for some of you at some point you wanted to kind of end this relationship and this person on several occasions uh, try to fight for this and kind of keep you in the relationship uh they still have there is this emotional connection i feel like that is stemming from that wanting to keep you there because there's still this emotional connection that they do have with you however there is confusion there emotional confusion determination but just kind of unable to hold on to this with the tower card and it unable to maintain this which explains where you're both at currently seems like and i'm proud of you uh sagittarius it seems like you've had enough it's like an ah uh, i've had enough of this i'm not going to engage in this with this person any longer i'm going to make a decision to choose myself ultimately to choose myself and i feel like i feel like for a lot of you that was a tough uh, uh, I want to say tough and difficult at the same time. That was a tough thing for you to do. So it's kind of 
you kind of processing that, balancing your thinking around that. Yes, you still have an emotional connection to this person, but it's like, I deserve better. I want to get out of this place with the six. It's like, oh, I deserve better. Don't like how I'm feeling. You know, there's deep contemplation, asking yourself those important questions with the hermit card. It's like you've chosen yourself. You're not going to tolerate being mistreated or disrespected in any other way. Feels like your 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 happiness. There we go. Seems like your happiness has become more important than trying to maintain something that doesn't really want to be maintained at this at this time. So I feel like for a lot of you, you ended this relationship, or yeah, I feel like it's more about ending this person's coming out. But, you know, sorry, I don't mean to giggle there, but um, or maybe I do simply because the cheek, the audacity of this person. But yeah, they're feeling the ending, the pain, painful ending of this relationship. But I tell you something. Yes, they're acting reckless with the Knight of Swords there. Yes, so this person could be, you know, really trying to reach out to you, send you text messages, DMs, phone calls, even driving by your house. But the funny thing about this person, and I say done funny because I'm just downplaying their character. Person is displaying a certain character that is just, you know, yeah, it's, it's yeah, I'm not feeling their character um, because they're still engaging. They're still engaging in this three of, of cups, this third party energy or this third party dynamic. But yet there is this high priestess there. They've got some form of insight about you, around you, around this connection. I'm not sure what that insight is. I feel like usually the high priestess represents, you know, deep spiritual connections, soulmates, and flame, you know, this higher knowledge, this higher insight. This person could be seeing you as a soulmate or just having some deep spiritual connection. But, you know, it's like, okay, that's how you see someone. Then why would you disrespect it? Why would you not value it, why would you not take care of it? This person is very reckless in their, just their way of thinking. Just their way of thinking. Don't feel like, because we've got the night. I feel like this person is realizing or feeling like they couldn't penetrate you the way they could, they, 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 they could have done in the past. So when I say penetrate, I mean, you know, get through to you. Pull down your boundaries and soften up your... um your guards, so to speak. Yeah. It's like, it's, 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 they're not responding, meaning you Sagittarius. My Sagittarius is not responding the way they used to, which will bring me towards that nine of cups, that emotional happiness. But there is still this holding on, there's still this level of belief that they can get you back, ultimately. I feel like that's waning, though, simply because we got the uh, magician card after the chariot, which talks about the chariot for me. It talks about this indecisiveness, this back and forth, on and off, hot and cold. So yeah, there's not there's there's doubt or there's indecisiveness that's creeped up for them, but there's still that magician card. It's like, yeah, but I've done it in the past. Yeah, but I believe that I can get this person back or have some form of effect in making this relationship work again. Don't think that's the case though, cross watcher. Because Sagittarius is, you've kind of gotten yourself, like I said, into a place where you're choosing you. You're choosing you. Your happiness matters. Your peace of mind, the temperance card there, matters, you know. And yes, for some of you, you're not, maybe, <laughs> you're not ready to look at why you chose to, you know, stay and tolerate certain types of behaviors when you saw red flags, why you chose to just not be ready to look at how do I put that certain questions that allow you to take accountability for the part that you played in this dynamic I'm going to say that that's a choice you're not ready to make that choice yet you know I feel like for a lot of you you look into that too deeply as as yeah but the beautiful thing about this is that you've decided to choose you you've decided to choose you and I'm loving um, usually at this point in the reading, we kind of move into part two just to expand on this. I will be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. But as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. That's something that interests you as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Nice to see you next week.